Hey guys, Chad at Spire Racing Heads. Thought I'd show you here, uh, you know, I, I, I post a lot of 23 degree, some big block stuff, but uh, for all you LS guys, I wanted to show you this. This is, uh, this is my uh, 241 casting LS1 CNC port. So uh, I'll show you a few things here, so. There is a chamber, uh, 45 degree valve job, both sides, 40 top on the intake. This is a 38 top on the 45 seat. Uh, you can see how it cleans up. Um, you can see I done a little polish in there because the CNC program, well, you can see there, it did a good job. But you can see here it uh, left a little shadowing. So let me put it over here. Here is the short side. You can see it's got a nice short side. Nice and laid back. Nice size throat. Uh, CNC work is nice, like always. Um, intake, yeah, let me get a, some light on here. There's the intake port for you. Uh, a little more bias on the floor, uh, a little bit of shadowing in the roof that I cleaned up. But overall, I mean, it's a it's a it's a really nice program. Um, got a lot of guys who do a lot of uh, chassis dyno with them. Um, but he, here's the flow numbers, and I want to go over something here that's really important on an LS head. You can see here on the test pressure, I tested it all at 40 inches on the intake, and I converted it back to 28. So that is really because the airspeed in these type cylinder heads are a lot faster than a normal head um, because of the way that the port is shaped, tall, narrow, skinny. Um, so I feel that flowing it at 40 inches and converting it back and then also having the flow curve go all the way is ultra important. So uh, this is a two inch 1570, I think it is a 1580, whatever they put in it. But you can see here at 500, Flows 291, 700, 308, and it peaks at 318. So the port moves to air. 400 number is 257. So it's it's really pretty good. The exhaust port, 213.5, 228 at 800. So the the head the head flows really well for what it is, and it's the, you know it's stable. You can see in the flow curve, I mean, it gains its three easies at a time up top. Um, exact, exactly what you want. So uh, I have it available. I mean, I have a, have this. I have some uh, LS3 stuff. Uh, all in GM castings. And the reason being um, is because the stalkers and super stalkers have to use a GM casting. And absolutely everybody that has an LS has a GM head. So... I just decided to stick to um, those castings. It's a great casting. Uh, I mean, you if you're gonna put a lot of boost to it, obviously, or nitrous, you gotta gotta look at some of the aftermarket stuff. But for a performance gain and maybe a cam shaft, um, it's really hard to beat. I'll put pricing down below um, in the notes um, uh, for for what it would cost to uh, CNC port them and do all the work to them. But uh, normally, I use a Thule drop-in kit. Um, usually use this steel retainer 660 polish deal. Um, but, uh, like I said, I just wanted to show you this cylinder head. Um, it's, it's, it's a nice, it's a nice, nice version of it. Um, give me some more pictures there. Get the exhaust port. There's the exhaust port. So, uh, if you guys have any questions, you can give me a call. There's my number, 75 Appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, if there's anything you need, uh, let me know. Thanks, guys. Take care.